minutes in the Scottish game. They really have made a huge impression this season with their attacking play in particular. So the early exchanges obviously will be important as ever and it's been possible for Celtic to ensure I think that Hibs play downhill in the first half. They like to do that normally in the second half. So there's Lennon's first contribution. The header down, a calm one by Gary Smith. There's David Murphy and uh, Nakamura starting the match wide on the right-hand side for Celtic. Well, something they've got to figure out today. I think figure out pretty quickly. Strong challenge by Coldwell and Petrov inside the area. Poor header by Valde, picked up there by Stewart. Here's Sproul. Stewart gives him an option ahead. Sproul has space to come inside. Well, just too many defenders in the end. Ivan Sproul showing amazing confidence. He can't get enough of the ball at this stage in the match. He's taking a knock this time. He also has a free kick. He's so elusive when he's got the ball. You know, whether he's taking people on, knocking the ball past people. It's gets all the little knocks, people trying to get to the ball, it's just feet are so, so quick, moving the ball from side to side. And yet again, wins himself and his side, a free kick in a dangerous area. A real opportunity this for Hibernian, a bit concerned about the damage inflicted on Sproul. Want to keep him hale and hearty, I think. Now it's Taylor made for a left-footed strike, this. Stephen Glass, Kevin Thompson could deliver that, and so could Derek Ryder with either foot. His natural strong one's the right. A real chance for Hibbs. Being treated with great respect by the Celtic wall. There's Ryder, it's brilliant! Hibbs have the lead! He must admit, looking at that, before that was taken, Bunich left a massive, massive side open there. Felt overcovered, but what a free kick. Take nothing away from that young man there. As you said, Jock, left or right foot. For me, Bunich is standing far too far over, but that is postage stamp stuff. Bunich must know the ability of riding. And that is superb. Well, that's a brilliant free kick. And no more than Hibbs deserved. No, that's just gonna, play so far. Yeah, I'm just going to say no more than Hibbs deserved. Then the better of the sides created the most more opportunities. And I think that might have been just binding away there at Tony Mowbray. Back into the midfield to shore up that area, get some equality there if he can. Indeed, he is back there. There's Petrov just now with uh, Nakamura. Good leap by Petrov. Nakamura as well to get the ball across, but look at the speed of Whittaker and the control. Good recovery by Maloney though. Petrov now to Maloney. Maloney's quick enough and it has to be tackled well. It's a very good block by Simon Brown. Penalty kicks be given. Referee Freeland has given a penalty there for the challenge on Sean Maloney. That is surely controversial. Yeah, that was a late whistle. I think he was looking to see what came from that tackle. If there's any advantage. Yeah, you well, look at that, it catches the back of Sean Maloney. That's a penalty, all right. Yeah, no doubt about that. Whitaker, who the man was who lost the ball in the Celtic half, was chasing back. He just caught the back of Sean Maloney's leg there. Good decision there from the referee. Sean Maloney has already scored three penalties this season. Stephen Whittaker yellow carded after that. Well, what a lifeline now for Celtic, having been second in the match so far. Maloney can now equalise. Excellent penalty by Sean Maloney. Celtic in level terms, and Hibs must wonder just how that's happened. That's happened because that young man has got the guile, he's got the pace, he's got the confidence. When he gets free, he's going to attack the space. It's a super, super penalty. High to the right for the goalkeeper. Top corner. But you give that man half an inch or half, half a yard in which to run into, he will run into it. Well, it's all level now at Easter Road. The penalty kick from Sean Maloney, equalising the free kick from Pat. And 
are doing what Hibbs tried to do to Celtic in the first half. You know, deny them space, force the ball down the sides, and there's not a lot of space to be said for both sides through the middle of the park now. A lot of the play is being forced into the wider areas. Just a cut to me as Neil Lennon strolled about. I don't think many players, especially many players, walk about the pitch as much as he does. The way he possesses himself, we can get away with that. Here's Juravsky. Back it comes now to Nakamura. It had to be played there by Whitaker. Couldn't take a chance. Helped it on its way for the corner. That's a great ball in for Nakamura, right into a real danger area. That's a super piece of defending there. It was Roy Keane coming in round the back there. Really take the corner, or leave it to Nakamura. There's the decision. Nakamura will take this. One post protected. Interesting that, Hibbs. Nakamura with the out swing. A disappointing ball, but clicked on the good effect and turned in by McManus. Celtic have the lead. It's not the best of corners, but it certainly has turned out well for Celtic. Yeah. McManus gets his seventh goal of the season. Yeah, that's that free scoring centre half. The man with the new contract. Poor corner. Missed by everybody at the near post, but not missed by that man there. That's the sound of finishes you'll see from any player on the park. A little side foot between the fullback and the goalkeeper. It's a super finish there. Perhaps a little touch on by Zuravsky. Yeah, not much in there, but through a number of people. And then just fall into that man there for his seventh goal of the season. Well, that's a terrific. Certainly one who doesn't take uh, free kicks or penalties. Well, a major blow to Hibbs, no doubt about that. On the hour mark, Celtic go ahead. It would have been hard to imagine that in the opening half hour of the game when Hibbs are so dominant. But that's the challenge playing against the old firm. Chase on here for Zdorowski. Well, that's handball outside the area. Simon Brown's in big trouble. Looks towards the referee, and inevitably, the card is red. It's all collapsing around Hibbs now. For Tony Mowbray, a goal behind, now a player down, and he has to decide who has to come off. We've been very complimentary against Hibbs all afternoon, but that is... Suicidal defending, that's just a ball over the top. That man is ever going to be eager. And there's no alternative there. Brown, hands come up. He knows as soon as he's touched that. He doesn't even have to look at the referee. He's off. Well, I'm not sure I like the rule very much, but it is the rule. Well, everyone knows that. And uh, Malkowski will come on. Who is being sacrificed? Who's going to pay the, the price, yeah. A decision to be taken here by Tony Mowbray. And there's the answer. There's Derek Ryardin who goes off. Hasn't been making a considerable impact on the play. Still scored that wonderful free kick, which you can always do. But that's what he's capable of. He's, he's you know, conjuring something out of nothing. A pretty quiet game. Murkowski coming on. Hibbs down to ten men, but it just shows you Celtic. How many chances have they had during this game? Two, three chances. They've scored two goals from it. And that's what happens when you're playing against the best teams. They do punish you. One, two chances. They'll be taking 75% of those chances. And there may be more punishment to come for Hibs from the set piece where the goalkeepers cannot be warmed up. There's Sigi Malkowski, who has played 25 times this season for Hibs. More often than Simon Brown, it was a first choice for that spell. Is it Maloney and Nakamura or Petrov to take this? They're all very talented for this position. Maloney would seem to be the most likely. Here it is. Oh, that's good goalkeeping. Very good. I'd like to see it, but it happens. Back with Telfer. The reaction you get from the supporters. Trying to make the extra man count here. This is Maloney, oh, he's away there, and down he goes, and the decision has got to be, I suspect, another penalty. Can only be that, it was a foul, no question. I'm feeling not making a great fuss about it, but Stephen Woodiger again 
taken out by the skill of Maloney. A step over, the customary step over, that's a blatant penalty for me. Nowhere near the ball, and there you go. Oh, what if he knew that? Watch his reaction, he, he, knows, he, knows, he knows that's a penalty. No argument with the young man. I think he's still relieved to be on the pitch. Two penalties he's given away. Normally you get booked for a penalty. Well, he's been yellow card the first time, yeah. but not this time. Not this time. a red card the first time, as the boys were saying at half time. You so see only going for penalty number five. Yeah, but you see it time and time and time again. When that man gets on the ball, he's going to drive at you, and he's going to do the step over, and he's going to use his pace. Markovsky on the line. Oh, that's a terrific save by Markovsky. It keeps Hibbs in the game. There will be no way back from a 3-1 deficit, I'm sure, but now there's a chance. It's a fantastic save. Uh, so O'Connor. I think that's the problem you have if you're a Hibs supporter. You're building a side, some great young players. A super young manager as well. Not even managers are safe now. That's good play by Maloney. Wilson breaks on the left-hand side. He has had so few chances to do this in the match so far. This is good play by Wilson. Well, the cutback was designed for Petrov, but not a pace in the ball. Forward it goes there to Sproul. Gary Caldwell. And there's Maloney again. That's well, good running by Maloney, held up well by Thompson. Shrugs him off. Maloney again. This could clinch it. Another fine save for Malkowski. Maloney, really a one-man attack at the moment for Celtic. Here's Telfer.